One of the greatest benefits of using the Divi Builder is the pre-made layouts. These are layouts which are professionally designed, which you can use in your own designs for your own projects or for your clients. And also the images that come in these pre-made layouts are royalty free. You can use them in your projects and not worry about any licensing issues. These pre-made layouts make it very, very easy for you to build websites really fast. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use these pre-made layouts in your own web design project. But before we begin, if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my DV Blueprint 3 course, which teaches you how to use DV and also how to build professionally designed websites. All you have to do is to use the link in the show notes below to purchase DV, and then you can just send me an email and I'll be able to give you that course. All right, so uh, one more thing. In order for you to follow along step by step, you need to have Divi itself. So make sure that you buy Divi first and then install it on your computer. Now to purchase Divi is very straightforward. As I mentioned, the link is in the description below, but uh, that link takes you to elegantthemes.com where you'll be able to access your account. Here where it says account, and then you can go into account details and you can go to your product downloads download the DV theme and once you've downloaded it, it's quite straightforward to install. All you have to do is to come over here, click on appearance themes, and then all you have to do is to click on add new, click upload theme, and then navigate to where you've downloaded the theme. So once you upload it, you have to activate it and pretty much that's all you need to do. So now let me show you how to build your websites using these pre-made layouts. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to start by creating the page. So over here, let's click add new and let's add a home page. So again, you need to decide what sort of website you need to build. Uh, it could be a restaurant, it could be a plumbing website, whatever it is, you'll be able to find a theme or a pre-made layout. So here, if I click on use Divi Builder, this will take me to the these three options. Build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout and clone existing page. So this is what we need to do here, choose a pre-made layout. So once I click on that, this gives me now a list of all the pre-made layouts that are in this um, library. We, As you can see here, we have 123 layout packs and these are added pretty much every single week. So this is updated very, very regularly. Okay, so now this is where you get to choose what type of website you want to build. So as you can see, there's quite a lot here, but uh, in this case, let's say we want to build a website, uh, interior design website. So now we can just come over here or look for a pre-made layout that's pretty much close to uh, the layout that you need. So in this case, it's interior design. I'm gonna come over here, click this. Now what this does, is it gives me an idea of what these pages look like. And as you can see, we have the about, the blog, the contact, the home, landing, portfolio, services, and shop. So now, since we're building a home page, I'm gonna click on home, use this layout, and this now will download all the elements that make this page work. So as you can see here, all my elements are in, all my images, they're all in. And this is really, really cool. So pretty much that's it, you can click on publish, and this page is complete. Now let's, exit the visual builder and take a quick preview of this page. So now if I scroll through, this is the full page and this is professionally designed. It looks really, really nice. So let's say you want to make some specific changes to this design. How do you do that? So first of all, you want to click on enable visual builder. So here you can change this text by clicking here on this gear icon, module settings, so this is the heading, as you can see. So let's say you want to remove where it says elegance in, and then you just want to leave uh, interior design in there. Okay, so that's what you can do. You just remove the text, add some text, and then over here as well, you can come in, you can add more text. And as you can see, it's updating here. Right, now, let's say you want to uh, make some adjustments to this button. Again, you can just mouse over here, click on this brush tool. This will take you straight to the design settings of the button. And let's say you want to change the color of this button here. You can just click here anywhere in this place. And then you can just um, scroll, or maybe let's make this blue, for example, like that. You want to scroll down the border here as well. Now we've just adjusted the page. 
I mean the button for our page. Okay, so over here you can also change the uh, the image size or the image type. You can pretty much go in and make your custom adjustments. But the most important thing here is you are able to create this page pretty much very very fast from scratch using these pre-made layouts. Now let's say you want to create the about page. Now all you have to do is to come back over here. Let's go to our dashboard. We're going to save and exit. So now we're going to click on add new. Now let's add our about page. Click on use Divi Builder. And again, we're here on our pre-made layout. Just choose that. I'm going to scroll down until I find my interior design company. So this is the about page. I'm going to select this about. Click on use this layout. So if you're designing websites for your clients, this is the best way to do this because it saves you a lot of time to try and build a website from scratch, adding all your padding, margins, uh, making it um, compatible with uh, different screen sizes. So this comes in with all that baked in. So all you have to do if you need to make any adjustments onto this is to actually go in, change your images and the text that, uh, that comes in pre-made on these pre-made layouts. So again, here, as you can see, this page is uh, loaded up. It has all the images. And now you can go in and change the colors if you need to. And again, I'm just going to do one quick change here as well. So let's say you want to change the display icon. All you have to do is to click here on this gear icon. This will take you to the settings. Now over here on the overlay image, we can change this image if we need to. Let's say we want to add an image of this lady here. Click upload image. And you'll notice that it's just been uploaded. And then we can go into design, play icon. Uh, we can also adjust the size of this icon because I think that's a bit too big. Let's reduce that. So I've just brought it down a little bit to about, let's say, 60. Uh, we can change the colors here to whatever color that you want. And I think black's wor black works really well with this. And then you can click save. So the reason why I'm going through this is just to show you how easy it is to come in here and make quite a lot of changes. Now, let me show you again uh, one quick way you can also go in and make uh, customizations really fast. So sometimes it's quite difficult to, to know where these changes have been made. So let's say, for example, I come over here, but I don't know where most of these changes are made. So if you click here on filter and then you click on modified styles, what it does, it breaks down and just gives you everything that made this actual design. So as you can see, it's already showing me on the desktop here, this was um, set to 65 pixels. I can just go in and reduce that to maybe, let's say 50 if I need to. Uh, I can reduce my line height. So this takes me directly to where my changes were made in this design makeup, which is great. So let me save this and let me show you again one more time. If I click here on this gear icon to go into my section settings, filter, and then I can click on modified styles. And again, this is where we can see the changes. So here I can see there's padding that has been added uh, to the top and the bottom. So I can actually change this to 10% if I need to. And you can see here, this has been uh, reduced. And then over here, this shows me the image that was added in here. So if I click here, I can actually change that image to something else. So let's say I want to go with this one here, click upload an image and instantly this has been changed. So this is where you now you can come in and add your own images to these designs. So you don't have to necessarily use these images, although it's okay to just go ahead and use them, but you can use your own images. Now the places I recommend to download these images or to get the images from are Pixabay and Pexels.com. In fact, let me show you these resources. And again, these images are royalty free, which means you can use them in your own designs. So for example, let's say you want to go with uh, any of these images. All you gotta do is to just click on the image, download it and use it on your website. So let's say I wanna go with this image here, free download. And the cool thing here as well is it actually shows you the size that you can download. So let's say you don't really need a massive size. You can just go down to let's say 1280 by 854, click on free download. And as you can see, it's, download, it's downloading here in the bottom corner of my website. Okay, so now that I'm back over here, let's say I need to change uh, this image here. I can just click anywhere uh, on this area, upload files, 
select files. Now I'm going to go to my downloads and upload that image that I've just downloaded onto my computer. Click upload an image and there you can see it has been added. So this is a quick way of uh, customizing your pre-made uh, layout designs and build websites fast. So, so far we've done two pages. So let's say you want to add a contact page to this. Now, how do we do that? Now, just like what we did before, let's first publish this page. Right, great. So now let's go back here to our dashboard. Pages, click on add new. And this time is the contact page. Okay, use Divi Builder. Choose pre-made layout. Right, so here you can also be a bit creative. You don't have to use the same pre-made layout from that actual layout pack. You can, you know, mix and match these layouts and just make sure that you use colors throughout. This is a bit more advanced, but I could show you this in another video. But in this case, I'm just going to go in here and choose the contact. Okay, so I'm going to select contact, use pre-made layout. Great. So now we have all this all set up. So the most important thing when you install or when you load up your contact page is to go in here into your module settings and make sure you come over here to email and add your email address because if you don't, then this form won't work. So here I'm just going to add my email address. Uh, message pattern, I'm just going to leave that as it is, but if you want to know what it is, you can just click here on this uh, question mark and then it just explains what that is. But in fact... As you can see here, my email address is in place. So if anyone comes to this page and fills in their name, email address, subject, and message, when they hit submit, that, uh, that message is sent to uh, mac at makita.co.uk. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And again, as I've shown you before, if you want to come in and change these images, you can always come over here, click the section settings, filter, modified styles, and then we can see that this is the image that was loaded. So again, let's change this to something else. I'm going to go with this one here that we've just downloaded just to show you that it works. And there we go. We have our image in place. Right. So right now you might think, okay, everything is all done and uh, pretty much that's fine. Now let me show you what happens now if we go to our main website. Okay. So if I go to my main website, you can see here that we haven't set our homepage to uh, uh, on our website because by default when you install uh, WordPress it uh, installs it as a blog website so let's go ahead and fix that so we want that when people come to our page they see the home page that we've just built so here we can go to dashboard and then we're going to come over here to settings reading so over here as I mentioned this is set to latest posts we want to change this to a static page so I'm going to click here, select Home, Save Changes. Okay, now when we come to this website, notice that now we have our page. So that is how you quickly uh, create a website using pre-made layouts. And if you go to the About, we can see that this is the About page that we created. Over here, we also have the Contact page. Now, over here, you might be thinking, okay, so what is going on? Why do we have all these links over here? It's very, very untidy. Before I end this video, let me show you quickly how you can go in and fix that. So to fix that, you want to come over here to Appearance and then click on Menus. So right now, we don't have a menu that we've built. So, so I'm just going to say Save to this uh, main menu. And then what we're going to do is to choose the pages that we need to add. So I've just added those three. I'm just going to rearrange this to make sure that home, about, and contact in that order. And making sure that this is set to primary menu. If I click on save, now if I go to my website, my menu should look very accurate. And there we go. Home, about, contact. Okay. And these pages are all working fine. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to use pre-made layouts. It is... Um, Highly recommended if you want to build your web pages really fast. And this could be your own projects or even if you're a freelance designer. And as I mentioned, these pre-made layouts are designed in such a way that they look great on mobile devices.
and also on tablets. So if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites using Divi, I have a free course that I'm giving away if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. And also the advantages of doing it uh, through my affiliate link is when I update the course, you will also still get access to the brand new course absolutely free. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.